Hi, I'm Bowerpuck. I'm back with another three-point game, playing Scott Salisbury. I do recognize that name. I wonder if it's from some movie or something. Or maybe it's just his name. I don't actually know. He's got a double five uh, before I split. So that's good news for me. But six four is not good news for me. Uh, when your opponent gets a double five and you haven't split, and you have to go for a priming play, which makes means that this makes a little bit of sense, but I don't really like slotting that, so I'm going to make a deep point. I've made a lot of deep points, so I think it's fine. Six twos, I would have been terribly punished for if I had done that. Two down play. I've been playing a lot today, by the way, and I've been playing awful. Uh, but now I have... Oh, five one. I've had a banana, so I'm hoping that that's going to help things out. I think I have to slot here. I really need to contain this guy. I really, I really need to contain this guy. So I'm going to slot and give me a 3 to make this. The 6-1. I think he should slot as well, actually. Double deuce. This was not the way I thought I would make the point, but it's there. Uh, double one. Wow, we can make the five and five point and the bar. That's crazy good. And now he's got a double pass on me. Yeah, I can't take this. His prime is too strong. It's it's take it's gonna take so much to get out get out of that. Um, six four. So I'm going to do this. Uh, I want to introduce a lot of contact into the game, so I think this might be the right idea. I don't want to make the point either way. I hate that play. 3-1. <laughs> um, Interesting. There is this play. Uh, the point being to dupe aces, but really what I want to do is sixes, because that's what he wants to hit with, so... I don't know. Maybe this? No, this doesn't dupe anything. Oh, this is a terrible, terrible roll. I'm going to fight for an anchor. Uh, gonna, so it's gotten a bit defensive now. 6-3, so he hits 2. The 5 comes out. Um, now... Oh no, he doesn't have a cube, of course. Uh, he's ahead. 1-0. So I'll just re-cube. Take and recube immediately. So he has better chances just rolling on. And he's gonna try and just win a regular gammon. Not needing the cube. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good decision to be honest, but like the 6 to 8 should probably just make this point. I'm a bit confused why he didn't. But it doesn't matter much. The three is there. And I think I, I should hit another guy. Uh, like fives and sixes can hit out here. Uh, yeah, I think this is a good idea. Got the five. But the deuce isn't very good. I think I should play here. I don't want to step up because then I'm in the view of two guys. So this makes sense to me. Deuce five puts two on the bar. Excellent roll. I got the dues at least. If I won. Hmm. He should. Yeah, no, he's, he make, makes the eight. Double three, wow. I get the point on him, which is very nice. And I wonder if I should lift a blotter or if I should bring one down. Two very different plays. I think I should play pure and bring a guy down. It could also be slot, but I don't think so. I think that... I don't really see the point in slotting over there, so I'm gonna try to just play pure. Any fans? Wow! I don't have a cube though, because he's, he's got a... because my four shakers are stuck behind a prime, so... But I got the point on him again. And he found again! Oh wow, is this a cube? I think this might be a cube, because I don't really need much to cube. Uh, like, I can come out with a 4-5-6. Um, 
and uh, I'm starting to build a prime of my own. It's a very easy take though. It's such an easy take that, I'm, that it might not be a cube. But I'm gonna cube. I, I don't need much to cube in this, uh, this score. 6-3. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna run with one guy here. Because I don't want to be stuck in a back game. Not, not here uh, at all. Uh, once again, four. But I think the five is here. Yeah, and I kind of want that point. So I'm ahead in the race. Uh, and he, I'm not sure about this play he just made because... Oh, wow. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this and this. Um, because now he stands incredibly inflexibly. So, like this 5-1, what does he do? He, I, guess he, I guess he has to hit. I don't really see a choice for him. 3-4. Uh, I don't really have much of a choice either, so I'm going to do this. 2-3. Hmm. I think you should probably step up. Yeah, I, I think this must be the right play. 4-3. Uh, uh, if I play the 4 here, try to secure that guy, I don't have a good 3, so I'm going to do this. Oh, wow. 6-1. I guess he has to hit here. Hit and lift. Uh, that seems to be the only thing that makes sense. This doesn't make sense. Uh, you have to remember that I'm ahead in the race. It's going to be tricky to cl clear this point. I give you that, but... Uh, I still think you should have hit. 3-2. Not, not the best roll. I'm just going to make the ace point. Uh, I don't want to give him a random shot here. 2-1, that's terrible. That's a terrible roll. He has had to break something, yeah. 4-3, I don't need to leave him anything. Although I could have used this opportunity to break this point, I guess. I didn't really think about that. I should have thought about that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Not very good. 5-4, so this probably breaks the 13. Oh no, he's gonna build this board, okay. 5-2, oh, that's not a good roll. I have to break my board. I don't like it when I have to do that. Yeah, that 4-3, I should have probably just made a point, shouldn't I? The double 4 isn't that good for him, though. It doesn't give him, get him anywhere in the race, and... Yeah, that, that wasn't a very good roll. 4-1. I wonder if I should take this opportunity. No. <laughs> if I don't have to, I don't... I shouldn't. Uh, there, there aren't any, like, really bad numbers for me, so... And there are some bad numbers for him, like the 6-5. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got to clear one point. Uh, any other double would have been better, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. But uh, at least I'm far, far ahead in the race now. So if he doesn't get a 6, then I'm golden. He did get the 6, so I'm not golden. Uh, I need something really good here, and I didn't get it. So yeah. This looks like it's over. Um, I really need the 6 now. Oh, wow, I got it. So if I come out... That leaves 2s and 3s. Uh, double 1. That's Double four, three, five. No, that's double four. Oh, so that's only 22 numbers. That's not that bad. Whereas if I stay here, I'm leaving way more. So I think I actually should run here. Interesting, this interesting point. Oh, wow, you would have missed here. <laughs> that's interesting. Always fun when that happens. I mean, the point of staying behind would have been to... What was that move? That was very strange. Uh, it would have been to... Um, I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, get returns. If he had left... If he would, would hit, then I, I might have gotten like a good return or something. As it stands, I didn't. So... I think the deuce just lifts. Um, 
three two probably two off actually I'm gonna have to run anyway but this was a very good roll now I'm in the race uh, he sounds pretty weird he's got a uh, if he rolls like uh, oh um, force then okay he didn't so <laughs> I just gonna act a bit greedy but I think this is essentially over now. 6-2. Oh, you can only get one guy off. But I need a double here. I got a double, but it wasn't a good enough good enough double. Uh, so this is resignable, and I was going to do it. Oh, okay, he rolled a double force. It doesn't matter. And, uh, yeah. That was that much. I wonder about my cube. I had four guys behind, so it felt, felt early, but I don't need much to cube, so... Let's see, Scott Salisbury. There he is. And that's the game, right? Yep, that's the game. Um, let's go into our games. There it is. Analyze. Change the scene. There we are. Got this down to science by this point. Oh, it wasn't a very long game, I guess. How long has the recording been? Yeah, it was a very short game. It's only been 11 minutes. Okay, so if you look at the match session statistics, I got a 6.0, we got a 9.0, so that banana didn't really help me. <laughs> uh, so the first game, this 5 1. I should have actually split. I kind of disagree. Um. The thing is, if I split, then that justifies his whole position. Uh, he is front heavy here, although he has almost almost um, escaped, I guess. And uh, so I guess that's the point of splitting. Mm, yeah. And this this double, it was actually too good, uh, which is why it was so easy for me to drop it. Uh, so game two, this double three. I I was under the impression that I was going into a, almost a back game, but considering that he has a broken four prime, maybe I shouldn't shouldn't have gone in for it. As as I did, I I left quite a few blots, and getting those blots behind the prime could have been bad news for me. So yeah, I should have just played eight five three actually. That's interesting. This double was early, but it wasn't a lot early. Um, I am a favorite here, but not a big favorite. And that's kind of how I saw it as well. So I figured, why not cube? Uh, it wasn't a big error, either way. And I knew it wouldn't be, so that was why I just went for it. Um, because at the score, if he wins, then he is a 75% favorite anyway. So, why not? But if I win and there's a cube in play, then I am a 30% favorite. Or a 70% favorite, so... I don't need much. Um, if you do the math on that, you, you see how little I need uh, to actually cube in that score. Uh, this 5-2 was misplayed. Uh, okay, let's see. This three five. I actually, wants to play thirteen five here. I don't un fully understand why. Why should I just leave that shot for him? This three two. Now this I can understand thirteen eight, because um, when I made the ace point, I'm getting a worse board. And that's not the best, but still, I didn't really want to just give him a shot randomly. This five two. Oh yeah, this four three. I was thinking about making the ten here, but I actually played it correctly. Maybe it was more inclined to take those risks when I had a better, had a really good board. But here he has a very bad board, so I was I'm very surprised that this actually 
was correct with 13 6. I was regretting not having made a 10. Uh, 6 3, yeah, yeah, okay, so there's 5 2. Uh, what did I play here? Oh, yeah, wait, 13 6? Leaving sixes, fours, and aces? Really? I figured that his he would have a difficult time rolling here. Like, his sixes play so badly. Uh, did I just decide to just wait and see? But I guess it doesn't. I guess the game doesn't. The engine doesn't like the fact that I'm breaking my board again. Which is fair enough. So this was very interesting. Um, when he had all these points out here. By the way, this two six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make the eight point. I was, I was very surprised that he didn't. Um, they would put a lot of pressure on me. But anyway. I was that game. I had some interesting points. Um, uh, mostly this double three. And this five two. That I genuinely do not understand. I'm going to perform rollouts on these to see if it's actually correct, because 136 looks crazy. It looks crazy. It's a terrible roll, but what can you do? I didn't have that many good rolls, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching.